Hey guys, welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Do you have a pattern lock or a password on your device and do you want to be able to disable it temporarily when you're home so you don't have to enter your password every time? Well, today's module is going to help us out with this. As long as certain requirements are met, it actually allows you to disable that or even convert it just to swipe on lock. Let's check it out. First thing you want to make sure obviously for this module to work you have to have a pin if you're not using a pin to unlock your device or a pattern or some type of security other than swipe to unlock this won't work obviously you don't need it uh, but the beauty of it is once you have this set up so I have one already set up this is my Note 3 I'll go into the expose installer and look for no lock home and make sure you download the current version is uh, 0.6.3 so it's actually pretty recent as far as the latest update on that uh, check the box restart the device normal process no big difference there the main thing you want to get into here is there are many different ways of unlocking your device and when it does that essentially is it recognizes a second party or a third integer into the, into the equation of security which is as long as I'm in this location or as long as I'm connected to this Wi-Fi access point or this Bluetooth uh, device or the, the cell tower or actually you know you also have the ability of actually configuring it up there it will disable the pattern or the security lock and you have the option of either removing it entirely meaning when you turn on your screen it just goes in directly into your device or you can convert it to swipe to unlock during that timeline so therefore you at least have something as opposed to having you know your home and for some reason you put it on and you wiped by you know you swiped your hand by mistake you get something in there so we'll get into the actual mechanism of what it does um, and also what this plus sign does so you're able to turn it on I like to keep it this way this is my preference on this uh, this is if you're having any problems with some CM ROMs, you need to check this box. Uh, no lock screen when the screen is on. Depending on the security measurement that you have on there, you may have it set to lock at five minute or at, like, at a minute and your screen timer is at two. It, it will circumvent that so you can use this if you have this concern. Of course, you have the ability of uh, setting it up to actually unlock or sw go to uh, swipe to unlock from secure. Uh, to whenever you do that in any kind of Wi-Fi connection or you can specify it uh, you can go in here and actually specify your wife your Mac addresses I had those things pre-populated before but I'll show you guys in a second how to get those also you have the ability of setting it up for Bluetooth devices so this is perfect for let's say you get into a car and you have your Bluetooth connection in the car as soon as it connects to the car it, de it removes the pattern for you so a lot of areas that only you as the owner of those two devices will be able to turn it on. Of course, your cell ID, your cell tower. This is easy by far. I think the best way to basically geofencing, uh, using the geofencing technology that Google put in the Google Play services uh, and be able so, you know, to connect as soon as you're connected to this uh, access point or this tower, uh, you're able to remove. Of course, help gets you into the XDA thread. Uh, but just to let you know, so you're going to wonder is, so how do I know what's my MAC address? You know, how do I know what my MAC address is? Obviously, there's different ways of doing it. You can go in and look it up. How do I know what Bluetooth MAC address? I'm actually not sure. Did you know that you have a Bluetooth MAC address? Of course, what's your cell tower information? That's what this plus sign comes in. So the example would be here. Uh, we're not connected to Wi-Fi, so that's not going to work from us. Uh, Bluetooth, I'm also not connected right now. But I am connected to a cell tower. So I go in here and I go into the BTS, LACCID, because I'm a GSM user. And as soon as I do that, I can go in here and then the information gets populated for me to the cell tower that I'm connected to right now. Uh, same thing works with Bluetooth, same thing works with Wi-Fi. The module is pretty simple. Check the box, restart the device, normal, no different than any of the other modules. Uh, the main benefit of this, of course, is that it gives you the simplicity of when you get in the car, in my situation, that's where my benefiting is. Um, I get in the car and my car automatically connects to my device. I have it, it's on Bluetooth. And I have it basically set up so that I'm son as soon as I get in my car, and connects to via Bluetooth, my pattern goes away and it just unlocks my device normally. It makes it simple for me, makes it easy as opposed to having to put my pin every time I sit in the car and let's say I'm driving, it becomes a risk hazard for us. Uh, the next thing of course is you know when you get into work, when you get in home, it just simplifies life, gets you access into it. And then whenever you're outside of these areas, these geolocations I guess, uh, it becomes secure. It goes back to the pattern, it goes back to what you have it. Um, just check it out, let me know what you guys think. If you don't have a pattern on your device, I think you definitely should. This will simplify your access to your device using this pin. Again, you still have to put in the pin when you're outside. As usual, like, subscribe to this channel, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.